Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Dike the Gamer, back again with another video. Now, today, we're gonna finally be fixing myself up, fixing up my inventory, my armor, everything we got going on here in the Bedrock Survival World. Because the last video where I left you guys off on uh, was I had just gone mining and there's a lot of stuff i have over uh, pretty much two stacks of diamonds i have so much lapis for enchanting and as you guys know or hopefully as you guys should know if you've been watching the series we have an infinite xp farm and a max level 30 enchanting station so today i'm going to be getting literally the world's best enchant in Minecraft. Shulkercraft recently uploaded a video going over the best enchants possible. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm literally gonna get a max pick, you know, max sword, even though I already have pretty good tools. It's just my armor is big slack. And, and then once we're done with that, we're gonna do a little bit of improvements to the base because uh, let's just say these animals have been living like this for the last two months and that is not acceptable so as always if you guys end up enjoying today's video make sure you go ahead and drop a like it helps out a ton with the video and also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you never want to miss another minecraft upload from me and so first off we just gotta offload all this crap do a bit of organization with the chests and i am incredibly sorry cows but I'm gonna I'm gonna breach it for a second, and then I'm gonna kill you for a second. Alrighty, thank you for your leather. As I can never play Minecraft without item frames. Oh no, we can move those right there. Oh, it's supposed to be there anyways. But see, my OCD is about to lose it. You know what I wish Minecraft did? I wish they were made it so you could add multiple items to the same item frame. I feel like that's a pretty small change, but for people like myself, people like organized players in Minecraft. I feel like we'd, uh, we'd benefit from that a lot. And so rather than making all new armor, because this is very, very lightly used, we could chuck all the armor off, chuck it in. It should just be one diamond per uh, item. Yeah, we have leggings. Yep, yeah, boots, maybe two. Nope, we're good to go. Fully repaired. I just saved myself like 15 or so diamonds. There is a crafting table in here. And uh, well, we can actually get started with the enchants. Now, I don't have netherite, but that doesn't really matter because obviously diamond armor is the core of any good set of netherite armor. And so if you guys have absolutely no clue as to what this machine is or how it functions, then I don't blame you, but I do suggest uh, that you guys go ahead and watch my previous videos on this XP method as what you're gonna see is pretty crazy. I already have 49 levels and this is a method that only works on bedrock and now I have 51 levels. Uh, with this one piece of kelp, I'm able to get anywhere from one to two levels of XP, and that's at level 50. It only takes me around 20 seconds to go from level uh, zero to level 30 with this farm. It is absolutely mind-blowing, so I'll leave that link down below in the description if you guys wanna check it out. But I got the XP, that's literally all I need. I need XP and I need lapis. And before this, what was really screwing me over is I just could not ever get a lot of lapis, but this last mining trip, we got like nearly seven stacks of lapis, something wild. So let's take all this armor off. We are looking for pretty specific enchantments, but base minimum, I want protection for on everything. And if something, if there's not at least like two or three good enchants on one item, like what the heck, what the heck is that, man? It's not, it's not worth it to me. It's simply not worth it. And that's something I've realized on Bedrock is that the enchantments are weird. Like Java, you're pretty much guaranteed if you do, ooh, this is actually what I was looking for. If you know it's a max level three enchants, typically you'll get uh, two to three max enchants on any piece of gear. And let's see, just, dang it, no, it's fire protection. It's fire prop three, I need protection for. Oh, I, I know you guys are probably gonna hate me and I hate myself for this as well but I can't take it. I cannot accept it. I'm actually going to go ahead and save those boots. Depth Strider. Uh, I'll just combine those Depth Strider boots with Feather Falling boots and get something really crazy going on. Uh, but we're still at 37 levels of XP. Absolutely wild. And we get Feather Falling 4. And because boots are so cheap and they're so easy to enchant and, and make again, I'm just going to go ahead and now I'm going to look. Oh, God. What's up? What's up with this combo? Fire Prawn, Feather Falling. Jeez. I'm going to go ahead and look for Feather Falling. And ooh. Now all I need, all I need is protection for boots. So I'm going to make four pairs of boots for this. And trust me, I, I don't know why I'm making. I just made a helmet. Did I just make a helmet? I just made a helmet. 
What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing either. Don't worry about it. And we're over out of uh, XP. Hey, but no fear. Just chuck a piece of coal in here and we'll be back up to 50 in no time. Just like that, level 51. Oh my God, I love this so much. Wow, that's actually insane. But what's up with the... You just can't give me protection. Just give me protection four. Oh my God, protection three. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, that doesn't, that, that's, I'm upset. I'm like a little, genuinely a little upset. I have feather falling, two feather falling fours and a depth strider. And then I go and literally get what I want and thorns two on it. It doesn't have unbreaking. So let me go ahead and actually combine these books. It was a, it was a good catch for me. So this does have break, unbreaking, feather falling four, protection four, Thorns 2, Tap Strider 3, and I'm breaking 3, and appropriately naming them God Boots. So I will kindly chuck those on it. We are looking drippy. And I would argue the second most important piece of anything to a champ is gonna be your chest plate. Now, chest plates are pretty interesting because there's really not many enchants you can get on them. You're really just looking for protection for unbreaking 3. And if you can get lucky, you'll take a thorn. So I'll actually, no, I don't, I don't really care that much. We'll just keep rolling until we get what we're looking for. <laughs> what? What? I just spent three, that was, that was a 30 level enchant. I get thor thorns one, thorns one. Okay. These are some pitiful enchants. Jeez. That's actually good. Other than projectile protection, which sucks. <gasps> we did it. Protection forward. I don't care. I don't care. That was like literally 20 in chance. It's bedrock players. Listen, this, this is to you guys. What's up with protection? Why is there protection so rare in this game? I get blast prot, fire prot, projectile protection. I just want protection. I just want protection from the elements and they can't give it to me. Oh my God. But you know what? I think we're going to take a little break right now from enchanting. That's fun at all. It's also really boring. So I think we got to do some sprucing up around the base, mainly with our farm. Oh. That was not, how? I just, I just hit him with my fist and he died. That was not supposed to happen. Well, I'm so sorry. We got to spruce up our farms. I mean, look at this. This is my kelp farm. It looks absolutely ugly. It looks horrible. I have some deep play now, which might be able to incorporate some of these builds, make them look a lot less trashy. We can get rid of this old, uh, what was this? Yeah, my baked potato XP farm, the good old days. I'll actually use all these baked potatoes for food. Thank you very much. It's awesome. Oh my God, bro, bro, they don't, dude. I, I always forget, I dude, it's Bedrock and Java are so different. That is, that was so loud, I was trying to break into my house. Oh right, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, what? Yeah, there's like the two pieces of bone meal in there, okay. Make sure you don't break the farm while we're at it. And I just wanna try to make this, I'll just pretty much encase all this. Oh, that's the wrong block, that looks horrible. I like, something doesn't look right. Oh, I did break that block, though. that was not supposed to happen. Put that back, all right. All right. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna change out a few of these blocks up here. And I like sort of how the edges over here are a little bit more jagged. I feel like it just gives it a bit more depth. Uh, and if you guys don't know what depth is in Minecraft, it is everything when it comes to builds. If your Minecraft builds don't have depth, then you're missing out. It's something I'm still working on to this day, getting better at depth. So rather than having one big square block, it actually makes things look and feel better uh, if they have like this. There's some, you know, corners to it. Uh, it's got some depth. The back side looks really bland, and so does this side. And I definitely need to move this somewhere else. It does not fit in at all with like the vibe of the house and everything, but it's too complicated. I don't use it very often, and so for right now, I'm just gonna uh, keep it here for a little bit longer. And in the course of doing this, I had broken the machine, and I don't know what I broke. Let me go, let me go figure this out. This is what always happens. Every time I touch this farm, it just snaps, snaps, and breaks. All right, let's see, flip the magic lever. Does it work? Uh, nope, it's not working. Hey, I did it. I'm a magician, I'm a redstone magician. Don't ask how I did it, because I don't know, but that looks, it looks cooler. Does it look better? I think so, but it definitely, definitely looks cooler. So I will take that. All right, we're now that out of the way. We can head on to, let's do leggings. It's another boring piece. Stupid. 
this close. Protection. Remove the word fire. Just erase it. Cross it out. And that's what I want. Oh, we're so close, man. Well, we got XP. We go again. Oh my god, it's the same thing, just different freaking protection. <laughs> Dude, again, where is it? And then it gives me protection three. Three and thorns one. What do you think? I'm a chump? No, we're going again. Oh, all right. Honestly, protection four. Wait, but I haven't got it. Can I get just like a thorns or something? Let's see. Can I can I strategy my way into getting what I want? Because that's the only prop for enchant I've seen. So let's see. As in, okay, thorns two. I. Lips are sealed. No complaints. I'm out of here. I'm going to combine these. Thorns two, prop four, and breaking three. Just going to name them Code Ducky. Make sure you guys use Code Ducky and all G Fuel products. Get you a juicy discount at checkout. Anyways, we're done selling out. We're back to the grind. All right, now, before we do our last piece, the diamond helmet. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh. What's up? What up? Wow, that that was easy. He didn't even move. That was incredibly easy. All right. Oh, can I sleep, man? I haven't slept in Minecraft in like five days. No. Yes, we're good. Phantoms, bro, why do they ever add them to the game? There's two things I want to get done. The first one being I want to make this a little bit better. I mean, these guys, they're, at this point, they're literally connected to my house. Doesn't make much sense. I want to scoot him back this way a little bit, give him some room to breathe. And then I also want to make my nether portal gold farm look a little bit better. Because the thing about this design is that it's from JC Plays, just like the kelp farm. And JC Plays, I've realized that he only ever does like the bare minimum for the farm to work. And designing the farm, it's pretty much up to you or up to the, to the Minecraft player. So uh, because of that, it just doesn't look good. So I'm going to do a bit of uh, work. See if I can't make these two, especially the farm, look a little bit better. And then my base will be really taking shape. Yo, what up, dudes? You want to come on over here into your newly swagged out area? That's just a different wall and that's it. All right, come on. Come on. Are these alpacas? Are these llamas going to follow me? I don't actually know. These guys are just running backwards. That's how much they want this wheat. That's impressive. Hmm. One chicken... And one pig. I do have carrots, though. So maybe I'll keep these guys in their own little pen. And what do I do with... Do I have any leads for these guys? Because I, I don't want to just, like, kill them. I, I'll feel horrible if I just butcher them without, you know, giving them a little chance to, to thrive and survive. I don't think... Uh, there's no leads and they got a name tag. But any leads in here? Nope. Oh, we have two leads in here. All right. So I guess we can just, like, force them <laughs> into the other pen. Um... Let's see, maybe they can hop over this. Nope, that did not work at all. D what? I, d I just want to get... I just don't... Oh my gosh, I'm just killing all my animals now. And now I know you guys would absolutely hate me if I started killing off everything. Oh my gosh, can I just not? Like, what do I do? Can I... Can I... I don't... I don't want for you guys to die. How did you even get in in the first place? And there's, there's two over there. You know what? I'm sorry. If you're not going to cooperate... You guys can all spit at me. I'm sorry. I'll keep the pig, though. The pig seems really cool. The chicken seems like he's a viber. And uh, you guys don't. I, I'm sorry, but they just... Oh, my gosh. You guys just literally saved me so much time. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Thank you, chicken. Thank you, Mr. Pig. Oh, no. I just I just let him walk out because I didn't play, put my stuff in the right spot. How about this? Do you want to you wanna come on and get in here? again yep no okay he's really on the run no 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 not you bro chicken chicken come on okay chicken is secured pig he's close yes yes okay we're good we're chilling no you you, I you know what he doesn't want to be captured I'll respect the decision. This pig seems to be kind of vibing though, so I'm I'm fine with that guy. All right, and just like that. Um, I don't want to I don't want to punch you guys because I feel like if I punch you, you're all gonna die. Why did he die? How did they get so weak? I don't. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. 
Finally give these guys some light. Jeez, these guys are living in darkness over here. Sorry about that. And honestly, I think that's fine. I, I'm not a huge fan of going like overboard uh, with farms and stuff like that. And this is another little Minecraft tip for you guys. Sometimes the simpler, the better. You don't have to go build a whole barn for your animals. When in reality, they don't need a whole barn. You can put up a few fences. It's going to do the same job as a barn. And it just look it, as long as you're going about it in a way they are not using cobblestone. I think you're just putting in a little bit more effort. It's going to go a long way. And especially using uh, elements that are similar uh, to other structures. I think as well could just tie everything in nice and neatly together. And then lastly, I'm just going to fill in uh, a little bit of this to make it look better. Because um, having these weird looking columns, like just go ahead, just take the extra few seconds. Use the extra materials just to fill it in a little bit more. And then what you can also do is you can also use upside down stairs to sort of blend it in a little bit more. So that way it's everything's uh, not super jagged and the corners aren't super rough. And it just, it, it looks more, you know, classy that way. Oh no, don't, please don't do that. Listen, man, chill out. I've dealt with enough stuff today. I just, just want to work on my stupid farm. Thank you very much. Thank you for cooperating. Oh, already it looks so much better. And then similarly with the kelp farm, just sort of closing in these uh, open redstone uh, components. Because having redstone in the open, something that makes redstone impressive is the spectacle of mystery. Because a lot of redstone is, to be honest, incredibly impressive and incredibly confusing and if it's just all out in the open one it doesn't look good and two it just sort of ruins a little bit of the magic so if you have any open redstone on any of your builds just cover it up to the best of your abilities obviously if the redstone needs to be open for the technical reasons don't cover it up just don't break the farm as long as you can you know make some adjustments without making the farm not work uh then i think that's a big win-win and then same thing had a bunch of these extra stairs left over so i'm just gonna use these all around make it look a bit better uh and i really really like that um that looks like honestly not getting so much better and it's no longer an eyesore i'm no longer embarrassed uh to have it be a part of my build it's actually something that looks like really freaking cool now because like i said the redstone is hidden what happens i don't know how does this thing work i got no clue and so after all these upgrades we could finally make the final upgrade after i get a few more pieces of coal so i can smell some of this kelp now helmets are actually a bit more tricky uh and i know what i'm just gonna go and take on breaking three if i can get in a chant that i know i'm gonna need i might as well save it for later on down the road uh, but helmets have a lot of enchants. There's a lot of variations with helmets. You have aqua affinity. You can get respiration. Obviously, the classic uh, protection, aqua affinity one. There you go. But actually, I believe you can get aqua affinity three. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, do they do it differently on bedrock? Because I just realized this is, uh, what is this? This says silk touch one. So on Java, it's just silk touch because there's only one level of silk touch. It just has silk touch. But I guess Aqua Affinity is the same way where there's only one level of Aqua Affinity. So they're not going to be like Aqua Affinity 3. It's just me Aqua Affinity 1 anyways. But projectile protection sucks. So we got to go again. Oh, okay. You know what, folks? We're done. We're keeping that. That's Aqua Affinity, Respiration 3, Thorns 2, or Breaking 3, and Blast Protection 4. Listen, Blast Protection 4 whatever i don't freaking know what it does anyways i don't ever you know creepers good we're immune against creepers but that is literally everything else on the list in one mega enchant so i'm gonna take it knowing how unlucky i've been today that's great i'm taking it we're we're walking away with our heads held high uh victorious and so now we're fully kitted out with a diamond set of armor on the bedrock world with literally not a single dude there was no effort there's not an ounce of effort involved it was just getting lucky but you guys obviously want to get a recap of all the enchants so let me give you that uh we got the god boots with feather falling four protection four thorns two depth strider three and unbreaking three the literal best possible enchant and i do plan on getting a mending villager soon so all these items will be mended and they won't be able to be broken and will be good on that standpoint uh we got the thorns two protection four unbreaking three leggings leggings and the chest plate they're very bare you really can't get any special enchant uh if i would have got thorns two we'd have a max thorns two set but i do also believe thorns two kills your armor faster or damages it faster so 
I'm kind of fine with the chest blade not being Thor's too. And then the God helmet we just got with Aqua Affinity 1, Blast Protection 4, Respiration 3, Thorns 2, and our Breaking 3. So all in all, an absolute success of an enchanting session. We got other aspects of our base. Uh, the farm tweaked that up a little bit. We got our uh, gold farm looking much better. And same with our kelp farm. They actually look uh like some pretty freaking cool farms and so i hope you guys enjoyed this short and sweet video if you didn't know these are the best enchants well now you know any other form of combination of enchants aren't going to be as good as the ones i was able to get in today's video so if you want to get these for yourself good luck because it's going to take a while but with all that being said it's been a boy duck of the gamer thank you guys so much for watching today's video and well i'll catch you guys in the next one peace